I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, you're going to learn what prop deflection is and what it sounds like. Stay tuned. This is a King Kong 5x4x3 prop. And until very recently, it was my favorite prop, but it's not my favorite prop anymore. And I'm going to tell you why it was my favorite, why it's not my favorite, and which prop I like now in replacement of it. The reason it was my favorite is, well, if you go back, oh, into the depths of history, maybe as much as a year ago, ESCs and motors were just not as good as they are now. And and flight control software with the filtering and the yada, yada, yada was not as good as it is now. And the bottom line is that if you wanted to fly a freestyle copter with minimal prop wash oscillation, you really had to fight to get there. And I even made a video about how to get rid of prop wash oscillation. I talked about all the things you could do to get rid of it. And my final conclusion was that you, you might just not be able to get rid of it on every setup. And that's still true to some degree, but it's nowhere near as true as it was back then. Uh, ESCs are so much better. They're so much more powerful with the braking and, and so much more responsive. Motors are so much better. They have so much more torque and flight control software is so much better. But back in the day, if you wanted to get really good prop wash handling and really smooth flight, you had to use a light prop, a prop that could change speed very rapidly, speed up and slow down. And if you're using an ultra heavy prop that made a lot of thrust, it wouldn't be as tunable. And that's what I really like these props for. They were also pretty durable. And I feel like this, this profile is reasonably efficient. But the main thing I liked about that prop was that it was light enough that you could get really good prop wash handling. Now, that's, that's true of any of the props of the sort of 5x4x3 style, uh, HQ, of course, being the one that pioneered them. There was a time when HQ was like the only one of these you could get and was hands down the best prop on the market. So why don't I like this prop anymore? Uh, the final straw for this prop was when I put them on my Race Flight 1 build, uh, which has the easy drone, like, 2206 2800 kV motors. These insanely fast spinning motors, the high kV rating means that they're going to try to spin really fast. And it might once have been the case that a high kV motor like that wouldn't have had the torque to really achieve very high RPMs. But today's motors, they have gobs of torque, even the high kV ones, they'll just do, they'll just rip whatever prop you put on there within reason, right? So when I put this prop on here, here's what happened. Now that sound that you heard is the prop fluttering and deflecting. So this is a reasonably soft prop, although it has the same sort of profile as the HQ 5x4x3, the venerable HQ 5x4x3, mad props to HQ for inventing that, mom props, yeah. It's nowhere near as stiff. It's, a, I don't know if it's a different kind of plastic or what, but it's nowhere near as stiff. So it's softer, which makes it more durable, but it also means that it deflects more. And what can happen if you really push it hard in flight is that it can, it acts like almost like a reed on a wind instrument, right? It makes that sound that you heard. And I wanted to share this with you to tell you that if you ever hear that sound, that's what that is. That's a really, really particular kind of sound that means you're getting prop deflection. I've heard it two times in my life. Once, way back when, when I was trying to find alternatives to HQ 5x4x3, because they were all, they were, they were pretty freaking expensive as well as being pretty fragile. And I tried some Gemfan 543s and uh, yeah, they were similarly soft and they made that sound. Um, this is the first time I've heard these make that sound, but it kind of said to me, motors are getting more powerful and these props for the kind of powerful motors I might want to be running are just not stiff enough. They're going to deflect. And if they're deflecting to the point where you can hear them fluttering, then they're also deflecting even if you don't hear them fluttering. And they, what they do is as, as you throttle up, they kind of flatten out and they go from like a five by four by three to like maybe a five by three by three or something as they flatten out. So you're losing thrust at the top end anyway if the prop is softer. And of course, now you wanna know what prop I'm going with instead. And the answer is the Dow Cyclone. 
Now again, I'm a freestyle pilot, not a racing pilot, and so for ultimate speed, this may not be the best prop. I see a lot of racers flying the Racecraft 5051s, and I'm surprised that they're flying such a steep pitched prop because of course, steeper pitched props achieve lower RPMs because they load the motors more, and therefore they are slower at sort of top end straight line speed. But I guess all races aren't drag races and the additional maybe thrust or handling of that steeper pitched prop makes a difference on the kind of courses that these pilots are flying. But I feel like for an all round prop, the Dallas Cyclone is a really good one. Uh, I like the fact, well, first of all, it's stiffer. It's a thicker, it's just a thicker, heavier, stiffer prop. Uh, the profile means that it holds up uh, better to, to nicks and, and, and impacts, and it also doesn't deflect when it's, uh, it's, it's, it's at pushed really hard at high RPMs. Some people have talked about the, the profile being optimized for aero dynamics and I don't know I, I couldn't tell you whether I do I do know in theory that a, a profile like this will do a better job at reducing tip vortices but how it would actually perform in a wind tunnel I really have no freaking idea could be purely cosmetic but I do know that they fly really well they make better thrust than these guys do for sure you can just see that it's a it's a heavier and thicker wider prop and they're reasonably fast they're not they're not slow like like some of the heavier props do, at least in a straight line. So I, I like these a lot as an all-around prop. The only thing they don't have on the King Kongs is price. They certainly are more expensive, but I just feel like motor technology has left this exact prop behind if you're really trying to get to more powerful motors. So there you go. That is what prop deflection sounds like. Now you know you can listen for it while you're flying. If you ever punch the throttle and you hear that noise, it means your prop is too soft for your motors and you should get a stiffer prop. Uh, and it also tells you a little bit about what I think a good prop is for today's more powerful motors. They're pushing the props harder and harder and softer props like this just aren't good if you're running really, really powerful, really high RPM specifically motors. At high RPMs, that's when you get the the vortices and aerodynamic effects that cause the flutter. So thanks for watching. Hope it was educational. And as always, happy flying.